before we get into the vlog, I just wanted to say I'm now posting these on Fridays instead of Mondays. So that's the new schedule. Kind of going back to what this channel originally had with the Friday uploads. So that's what I'm doing. Hey guys, it is Monday, May 10th. I wasn't even gonna vlog today. Today's a game stream day. I'm about halfway through the stream, but I think I have to switch to store prep because a bunch of stuff arrived. Look at all this. That box is the thick dinos I got previously. All those boxes back there that are the same size, those are enamel pins. And then I also got washi tape right here. Now, both of these deliveries are just partial deliveries. I got six out of the seven pin boxes and I got one out of the four washi boxes. But I'm so curious. I just wanna see the pins in person. I kinda of curious about the packaging because it's different this time. And I just, yeah, I wanna see which washi tapes we got here. Let's see which washi we got. Oh, oh my God. It looks like mushroom and a little bit of the Bailey washies. <gasps> Yay. Oh my God, those look great. Those look great. Yay. I'll have to show you what it looks like actually on paper because it's sort of see-through, but look at that. Mushroom washi. And then there's the Bailey J washi, which is just for me. It's not for sale. It's for packaging orders. So yeah. Now let's look at one of these. Seeing the boxes all next to each other, it makes me wonder if this really is a viable solution to the little plastic baggies. All these pins probably could have fit in four boxes, three or four, and instead they're in seven boxes, which means it's a lot of styrofoam. I asked this place if they could do cardboard and they said no, they only have the styrofoam because they use the styrofoam when making the pins. Like if I stack all this styrofoam in one pile, compare that to the pile of plastic baggies, is it really worth <laughs> the switch, you know? At least we're trying it, oh my God. What's amazing about this method though is that the pins already have their backings removed and they're laid out. So imagine just like taking one of these trays and grating the pins. It'll save so much of my sanity. <gasps> Look at them. Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow. Oh no, what have I done? Put them back, put them back. That makes me wonder if all the clutches are in one box. And if so, which box? <laughs> It might not even be one of the ones I have already. Okay, I've opened them all and none have the clutches, so, yeah. Cute! I love the cool tones of this one. I think this is my favorite of the two pins. <laughs> the cheeks seem darker than the photos. So that's the hair. Maybe it's also the lighting I'm in. Oh, she cute though. She cute! I might just wait till tomorrow to do with the store stuff because then I have to change my whole setup. And I was really excited about the new pins, like the Mushroom Girl and Daisy Girl, but I can't do those ones. So maybe just finish off the gaming stream as a gaming stream. <laughs> we have an update. I just noticed there's washi tape stuck to the side of the box. <laughs> but yes, the rest of the washi tape was delivered in a separate delivery. We're still waiting on that one shipment for the pin clutches, but yeah, the washi tape's all here, so let's open it up and take a peek. Okay, so you've seen Mail Cat, you've seen Video Game Washi, assuming you've been watching a while. Now we have the Daisy one that goes with the Daisy sketchbook and the Mushroom one, which I just showed you earlier. I'm gonna stick these down on some paper right away so you can get a better idea of what they look like. <laughs> matchy, matchy. Oh my God, look at these. Ignore the puppy one and this one because those are discontinued. They were both part of the advent calendar. And then I restocked only three advent calendar items. This was one of them. So yeah, those are both gone now, but look at these. Mm, I still love the video game one so much. I think it's still technically my fave. The colors are just so great in it, but I like these ones because they're more generic and sometimes generic is good. It's better for designs, like something a little more simple. It's kind of nice to have some of each style. Oh my goodness. See them all rolled out like this. Yeah, uh, it's the next morning and I decided to lay all this out just to see how much it is. Just wanted to see it all laid out there. I didn't include the thick dinos in this pile since that was technically not the same day and you've already seen those. This is my second time ordering from this manufacturer. So last time their pins were so, so good. Well, they're the ones I think that did the Celestial Paw pins 
So there wasn't much enamel. So I really took a gamble actually <laughs> going with them again and ordering 2,000. There's a thousand of each pin here. So yeah. Anywho, I gotta go shower, so talk to you later. If you ignore the construction, it looks kind of cute outside with the fence and the trees getting some green on it finally. So we have a problem. On further inspection of the tape, I started to notice some stuff. When you look at the daisy one, it's a little off center, which, you know, maybe not the hugest issue, but it annoys me. But then with the mushroom one, what caught my eye is that it's solid brown at the top and only the bottom has mushroom overlapping the cut lines. And I was like, I swear I didn't do it like that. So I looked at my file and realized it's completely done wrong. Also, the colors are completely done wrong. I didn't catch this at first. Like this mushroom looks orange. It's supposed to be brown. And these spots are supposed to be brown, but they're red. Like, how does that even happen? This is what I submitted. Looking back at that, I'm like, what the heck? It's completely different. Like the background's too pale. This is supposed to be brown, but it's orange. Again, brown spots, they're red spots, like what? And then once I peeled out more of the tape, I realized there's this line running through about every 30 centimeters, there's this line. And this one has a line too. Like if this one was just slightly off center, I'd be like, okay, maybe I can live with that. Let them know for next time or something. But because there's also all these lines, I'm like, and the lines on just where the pattern repeats, like you can see it's usually in the same spot, like between this leaf and this mushroom, but then over here, no line, because the pattern doesn't have the line. Like they did something to the file that made it have that line. So now I'm all sad, like the other tapes look good, but these two are incorrect. And these are the ones I ordered the most of. I ordered a thousand of each of these. <laughs> so I'm gonna send this to the manufacturer and see what they say. The mushroom one is especially butchered. This one is just not right at all like for example look at the double shroom it's supposed to be cut off top and bottom but it's not cut top or bottom and the leaf is supposed to get cut off on the tip too but it was not it's completely exposed plus a bunch more space so yeah i'm all set up ready to start grading i've started pulling them out of their baggies i got these here just so people can see them <laughs> while i'm working on these and i got a text saying that I have a shipment coming today from this manufacturer, so we might actually get the clutches today. Maybe I can grade some of the new ones too. So that's exciting. I was talking with Chad about the styrofoam thing, being like, it's so much styrofoam, I don't think this is a good idea. And someone mentioned that they successfully ordered pins, getting them wrapped in tissue paper, which is a great idea. It's usually not recyclable because it's already made from recycled paper, so apparently can't be recycled again, but at least it's biodegradable. That's what I care about more. Tissue paper is an option. I might also see if they have glassine sleeves, like just any kind of paper packaging would be nice. Did I build a baby barricade? Yes, I did. You must stay behind this line, baby. I'm getting a lot of B grades. I'm getting a lot of B grades here. Around the word thick, can you see that? Sad. So a lot of these are like not huge. Like at a glance, these all look great, but then you look closely, you're like, oh, there's some there's some flaws. Like the B grades still look pretty good for the most part. Ooh, I think we got ourselves an A grade here. Here are the A grades on their backing cards. By the way, the ratio sucked. I had 58 A grades out of 100. I, I graded 100 and there were 58 A grades, so that's not very good at all. So, I mean, this is a more complicated design. It's got lots of teeny tiny details. A lot of the mistakes weren't even related to that because it's understandable if like a tooth is filled in wrong or like this gap between the legs if it's not filled in, little stuff like that. But there's some more frustrating ones, but th at least the B grades look nice. Like. Most of them you can't even really see see the defect at first glance, so yeah, hopefully the ratio gets a little better though. I don't know if I'm gonna reorder this one because of that, because of all like the teeny details. He might need a redesign if he ever comes back someday. <laughs> now I just gotta sleeve him. It's this 5G chip that got injected. It it just needs so much energy, it's sapping my energy.
So out of this one sheet of 40 pins, I had four B grades, so that's 10%, that's amazing. And now we got a pin one. Uh, the texture, I don't think it wants to show up, that linen texture. <gasps> I can see it, I can see it. Yeah, cool, got a little texture to it. <laughs> Wait, did we open this up? It does not have a Ziploc top, so they might spill everywhere. <laughs> camera, please. Hopefully this looks a bit better on my monitor compared to camera screen. Oh, well that kind of looks good. You can't decide what it wants to do. This camera has contrast issues. But look, <gasps> so cute, so cute, so cute. Can't tell if her hair is even coming off blue in this video, but it is a pretty dark blue. I probably could have chose a slightly lighter blue, but there she is. There she is on her card. Amazing girl. So this one, the Mushroom Girl had eight B grades out of the set of 40. So not quite as good, but this is also just the first tray. Who knows what the rest are gonna end up like. But look at my two beanies. Oop. Oop. Now I need to get out of this room. It is so hot. I don't know how my thermometer says it's only 27 degrees Celsius. I mean, I, I pretty much die after 25, anything higher than that. I am like dying already, but <laughs> it feels even hotter than that. Maybe because I made this coffee hot chocolate. You know, drinking a hot bevy, it's almost empty. Stir that. There's stuff at the bottom that needs to be stirred back in. Baby. Oh, hi, Gigi. It's not time for treats yet. Not for an hour and a half. But yeah, I just need to go downstairs. Well, one, because it's cooler. Two, I need to edit. And I guess I could do that up here, but I just want to go chill with Christian. Attempt a redo of last night when I fell asleep instead of editing. Attempt to redo. Get that edit up. So that's... Ooh, that garbage can. Don't look at it. Don't look at it. Just look at that cute mousse. <gasps> look at that cute mousse. So it's now Wednesday. I'm probably not going to vlog too much today, but I wanted to show off my outfit because I've had this dress for a few weeks now and haven't worn it just because I'm at home all the time. But lately I've been thinking, you know what? Wear the fancy stuff, even if you're at home. Why not? I mean, this is not that fancy, but... I think the streams kind of inspire me to dress better more often since I'm on camera the whole day. But yeah, my legs are so hairy. I haven't shaved them in over a month, but <laughs> yeah, look at this. I got this on Amazon. It's so cute. It's just flattering and it's thin, but not so thin that it's see-through. Like I don't have to layer up. I've been looking for something like this for so long, so I might have to get other colors. I don't know. But... Yeah, it's like a faux wrap. It isn't actually up or anything. Uh, yep. That's the look for today. So it's now Thursday, May 13th, and normally I would be streaming today, but today I'm not because yesterday I did an extremely long stream. It was like 17 hours. And technically this morning I was up and at it early enough that I could have done today's stream as usual, but I'd already decided last night I wasn't going to and already announced it. Plus, I just need to get some stuff done around the house. It's just messy. Like, it's it's bad. <laughs> I feel like we're not as good with upkeep of the house because we, we don't have people over. Like, back in the past, we'd have friends over. We'd have all these gatherings. And it was always that motivation to have the house clean when everyone came over. And now everything just gets left to be gross. Like, what's what's going on with the kitchen table? <laughs> It's just used to store my junk. And I'll admit, most of the messes in this house are mine. This included. Now this is just the product I was laying out just to see it all laid out. You know, that's technically not part of the mess, but there's just little things like there. We got crummies here that need to be swept up because there was stuff covering that till I just moved it. Uh, got all these cans, gotta take those out. Just like, look at me being lazy with my shoes. What is that? 
There's the usual kitchen upkeep with dishes. Just put away some clean ones, keep up with the dirty ones so they don't get out of hand. Tidy up this area again, you know, sweep up all the crummies. I'm probably just gonna clean all the floors in the house in general, but also wash out their containers, like both the water one, give it a new filter and give it a good scrub. Same thing with this one. This I cleaned recently, their cat tower, so it's probably okay for now. This is probably the room that's bugging me the most, so really wanna tackle that. There's dead flowers, look at these flowers. <laughs> <laughs> just sitting here then coming over here the art room's a disaster as always so need to tidy this up there's styrofoam getting all over the floor too oh my god so yeah clean up that this room's not so bad i guess it's just you know because it's always weird like this but usually I just make it so everything's kind of shoved against the walls and a little neater. A lot of my stuff for my store I've been keeping up here even though eventually I'd like it to go downstairs but I want it up here for now because I'm going to be printing onto these which actually I should get started on with these ones. The sketchbook ones I'm waiting but the print ones I could get cracking on that. Same with like the backing cards because I always grade the pins up here so I might as well keep the backing cards up here. My little styrofoam recycling bin is about to get hella full. That's just a glimpse at the state of this house. <laughs> I think there's still a little bit of laundry left to fold from this week too. Um, probably throw in our bedding as well, wash that. I'm not really in the mood for a cleaning montage because it is a lot to do. I just wanna get it done and not film it. But I'll, you know, you got the befores just now and then I'll give you the afters after. Okay, Kiki, it's time for the final reveal. I did not finish everything on Thursday. I had to do some Friday evening, but it's looking much better in here. There's some really loud dude bros in their car outside right now with their music and stuff and talking loud, but we'll tune that out, won't we, Kiki? First of all, yeah, this is all out here. Still just, <laughs> I don't know where else to put it for now. We'll deal with that when the time comes, won't we? But the porch area has me the most shook right now. Like. This just feels so different, it feels so tidy. I moved some of my purses out of here into the room, like the cat room where I keep my clothes. And I hung up Christian's backpacks and stuff. Just got it looking way cleaner. And got that recycling out to the curb. Oh uh, yeah. The baby area is already looking gross again. This looks so pristine yesterday, but now we're getting like, oh, your brown crud here and here, whatever. That got completely taken apart and clean. That got completely taken apart and clean, yeah. yeah. Um, stove top needs a nice good soak. We have a stove top cleaner for it. So I need to do that still. I didn't do like a super deep clean. It was mostly like our usual cleaning and just stuff we fell behind on, like general tidying. This was the last room I did and I kind of <laughs> half-assed it. I mean, it looks better when you look into the room. Like I had a bin of donation stuff there, which I moved just around the corner there because it's less visible. There's so much cardboard. We have so much cardboard in the basement. I kind of wish I gave you a before shot of the basement because there was so much cardboard down there to flatten, like flexi spot stuff. There was the box for my tape dispenser, bunch of other stuff that just had to go that's finally gone. I was even dusting. I was getting the baseboards. I was dusting up along like the tops of the ceiling. I actually didn't do the kitchen. <laughs> it was mostly the basement. Like dusting along the edges where cobwebs can form and stuff. I was dusting all around the TV down there, and all, and all like where all the gaming stuff is, Christian's gaming stuff. Vacuumed, mopped, all that good stuff. Washed our bedding, the spare bedding, because that spare bedding hasn't been washed in like over a year because no one's used it, but it's just getting like full of cat hair and stuff. So I'm like, okay, let's at least wash this. The art room, I had to rearrange a little because I had to get my AC unit in here because it's just that time of year where it's getting real hot and it needs to be by the window so it can vent out. So I moved the Alex drawers right here, which is a little silly. This mat, disgusting as always. It's just, it just is dirty. <laughs> it's the sad truth about that part of the floor, but yeah, this is becoming like a little cubicle, just like I had downstairs. <laughs> yeah. That's the state of this. Hey, how come this, these lights didn't turn on when I turned the lights on? Did the switch get flipped? Gorgeous, Kiki, gorgeous. And I think Elsa's gonna stay here. I officially moved the phone up there just to put Elsa there, at least for now. If I find a different place for her, then sure. Oh, so tidy, huh? This room was more of a quick tidy also. This was the second last room I did. <laughs> I was getting sick of the cleaning. 
Office lights off. We can take a little peek downstairs. It probably looks the same as the last time you saw it, to be honest. Let would clean her baseball hats. And let's cobble them. I really wish I got it before of this. There was just like cobwebs that were catching lint on the wall. I had to just take the duster and do like the entire wall. <laughs> it was getting bad. There was a huge box here for the longest time that we'd hang clothes on. <laughs> it's finally gone. Rick's big box was always in that corner. Now it's gone. Just showing off the cleanliness. Oh, yeah. Although I didn't do it before of the basement, so it's kind of whatever. Whatever, there's still stuff. But it's much better, Kiki. This was pure cardboard for a few days. <laughs> bed made. Mm -hmm. No, I lint. I even lint rollered the whole bed and every pillow. Cause even after they were washed, they're still fur. Yeah, so you're not going in there. This looks pretty much the same. I just brought a few things down that are now there, like thick dino stickers and the little label roll holder, which technically could go back here now. This goes back here. See, it can do fan fold and rolls. Okay, this is falling off still. I'll have to push that a little forward, but yeah, because the cable's getting in the way. You know, I could even just give the whole computer a quarter turn, and then we have this side facing this. The cleaning destroyed my nails, so I had to rip off my gel. Alrighty, it's now Tuesday, May 18th. I want to see if I can finish making the stickers today. I'm done all the Mushroom Girl stickers, but I still have to do all the Daisy Girl stickers. And as you know from a previous vlog, my print head was clogged and I did a soak and I finally put the print head back in the printer last night and did a print test and it was beautiful. It worked. So I actually printed off all of the sheets already, all the ones I need. This is a much smarter way to do it, I feel, because I don't have to keep track of how many sheets I've printed off and like lose count because I also track how many I screw up. But I printed off enough sheets for how many stickers I want to make, plus five additional sheets. But they're all, they're just all good to go. They're ready right now. I don't have to keep track unless I have like a really high amount of flawed ones, but I'll just keep the flawed ones in a pile. So those are ready to be made. Uh, I forgot I owned this sweater. So I'm wearing that. It has been warm lately, but today is pretty cold. And last night there was even a thunderstorm. We rarely get thunderstorms in Vancouver. It was kind of nice. It's one of the things I miss about the prairies. But the cats were spooked. They were hiding under the bed. Midna would like run over sulking, like, you know, when they crouch. She's growling. She's like running under the bed. And then she sat under the bed doing the saddest meows I've ever heard. I was just like, Mimi, Mimi, it's okay. I was so sad. She was scared of the storm. They're not used to the thunderstorm, so they're really scared. <laughs> you were under the bed too, but you weren't making any noise, huh? No. Oh, this poor baby. Poor baby, I knew she was so scared. Also yesterday there was a delivery, a very heavy delivery. Tiny box, but extremely heavy because it's pretty much full of metal. Here's one of the bags that was in there. It's locking clutches for pins. Look at that. In hindsight, I probably shouldn't have gotten gold because all three of the pins I have for the next update are the black nickel. <laughs> but whatever, you don't even see the clutches when this is pinned. But yeah, these are just more secure than these. So I thought I would sell them. I've been thinking about this for so long and I'm finally doing it. To sell them in little packs. You can just buy big packs of them on Amazon too if you want. These are just nice little small sets of 10 for if you don't want to like bulk buy these things. <laughs> So I just put them in these little glassine sleeves and put a piece of tape. I could also reuse the plastic bags that these came in. But this is really cute too. Get, I get to use these glassine sleeves finally because I have a whole bunch of these little teeny ones. Like this isn't even all of them right here. This is just one box of them. But I accidentally ordered these when I was trying to order a bigger glassine sleeve size for the pins. I selected the wrong size and now I have a whole bunch of these little ones and I thought I would never use them for anything. So I've got these and then I've got two more boxes this size downstairs full of them. So this is what I could use them for. Yay! So yeah, they all have to be counted out and put into sleeves. Put some washi on the back. The new branded washi for packaging. I probably won't go any further with the packaging for these. I don't want to be too fancy because honestly my um, profit margin on these is very low. <laughs> 10 of these clutches cost me $1.40 USD and then I think I'll sell it for $2 maybe. So yeah, I don't want to put too much effort into all these. <laughs> it already takes quite a bit of time. Like the few that I did do took quite a while. So, 
So that's another thing I gotta do. Now for the washi tape that I wasn't happy with, I'm not getting very far on that. <laughs> they have not agreed to a reprint for those. I haven't even heard from them since last week because at first they're trying to like justify everything being like, oh yeah, those lines are where the pattern overlaps. And I'm like, that's not even where the pattern seam is. And it's only like every so many repeats of the pattern, then there's a line. And none of the other tapes have that. Like, I don't get why she's trying to justify that that's supposed to be there when no other tapes I've ever ordered from her, including the other three designs in this batch. None of those have that. And then for like them being cut crooked, especially the mushroom one being cut completely wrong, she's like showing the approved bleed line. She's like, well, this is what you approved. And I'm like, yeah, but that's not what I received. Like, yes, I approved that, but that's not what I was given. And then for the colors being wrong, she's trying to say it's a, it's a CMYK thing. And I'm like, I'm not stupid. I know about CMYK. The colors on the mushroom one are not even close. The other tapes are very accurate. It's just that one that is off. The cut line's the most annoying thing because there's just a solid strip of brown on one side of the tape. It really annoys me because it's supposed to crop right up to the mushrooms on both sides. So, I don't know. It's a, it's a whole thing. I don't think I'm gonna be getting the reprint. I'm definitely not gonna waste these tapes, so I'm still gonna sell them. I'm just trying to decide how much of a discount they should have. Like, should they be half off? Because they normally sell for $4 each, so should they be marked down to two? Should I just mark $1 off because it's not like... Like, it's not that horrible. I don't know. And the thick dino pins have a nearly 50% flaw rate. Like, this whole update so far is just a disaster. It's a disaster. Okay, not maybe not a disaster. That's maybe exaggerating, but I feel like stuff just keeps going wrong, but meh. Now I'm like, I hope everything goes smoothly with the sketchbooks. <laughs> I mean, they're already delayed. They were supposed to, well, they said they'd be done. They were aiming to be done by end of April. And they told me that like during April. They're like, yeah, we'll be done by the end of this month. And I was like, whoa, okay, sweet. So yeah, as of May 4th, they, they just got like the embroidery in because a, a third party was doing the embroidery. So they hadn't even started assembling the books yet. So I really don't know the timeline now. <laughs> like she never gave another estimate. And I guess there's not like a reason for there to be a rush because I haven't committed to a date. This is exactly why I don't commit to dates. I always tell people, they ask me like, when's the store update? When's the store update? And I say, I'm not committing till I have all the product on hand because stuff like this does happen. So I was aiming for like the second half of June for a release, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Well, that's definitely not gonna happen because once the books are done, they're gonna take like a whole month to get here. So possibly even longer, like I really don't know. They'll get here when they get here. <laughs> I mean, the sketchbooks being delayed gives me more time to finish everything else. So I'm not really complaining. <laughs> I just hope that when they do get here, everything's good. And you know, it was just, it was just a really big investment. Like this whole update was a really big investment, like, like tens of thousands of dollars. And I haven't even ordered everything yet. Like still got to do prints. Uh, I was gonna maybe do those flower sticker sheets. I might push that to like a future store update because I've already got so much going on with this update. And just like, why add another thing? <laughs> and then I can possibly do a whole line of products around the flowers. I think it's just, you know, now the stuff's starting to roll in. I'm like, screw the sticker sheets. Like those are being, those are being delayed. <laughs> I mean, there, there was never, it's not really a delay. <laughs> it was just something I started working on that I was like, oh, this would be fun to include in this update. But I'm getting ahead of myself. I need to save that. For the next one which hopefully won't be too far after the sketchbook one okay this is a long chat let me just let's move on <laughs> okay i have wheeled the alex drawers over here just so i can have more surface area i got a little spot for kiki yes little baby and then also just a place so i can grab these so i think we're all good to go you guys first of all my cricket blade I think, it, I think I might need a new one. Although I feel like I got one not that long ago, but I'm doing the double cuts on each sticker so it cuts all the way through because it's struggling if I do the other setting where it only cuts once. So it's gonna take twice as long to cut each sheet and it, you can't enable fast mode when doing this setting, but anyway. Um, I thought I would try using this mat here because previously I had cleaned my Cricut mats and they weren't very sticky after cleaning them. So I have this double-sided adhesive that I stuck down. And for some reason I thought it wasn't that sticky, but looking back, I'm like, no, the problem is it was too sticky. It was like shredding the back of my old sticker sheets and it actually ripped up the blue on the sticker mat right here. That's how sticky it was. And I'm like, 
this is my solution. Because some even suggested, like, oh, you can get double-sided adhesives for your Cricut mats. Like, they, someone suggested that recently. And I was like, oh, I have one, but it sucks. But I forgot why it sucked. I got it backwards as to why it sucked. In this situation, with this slippery paper, this is actually perfect. I didn't have to tape the corners. It stayed down. Look how ugly this mat is, though. <laughs> ah! I think this is actual paper stuck to it right here, but then there's the areas where the actual white lifted up. But, yes! Okay, so what I think I might do is take one of my other blue sheets and add the adhesive. I don't know how long it's going to take to dry, though, but... Although they should be washed first. Oh, I can't be bothered. Well, I'll try. I'll try. I'll try! This is all I've done so far. I'm right here. Those ones. Scraping this mat clean. This is the, the blue mat that's in the worst shape. <laughs> so I'm like, let's do this one as the one I torment with the sticky glue. No, so much cleaner than before, but still looks nasty where all the cut marks are. Okay, so I'm gonna use this zig glue. I do not recommend this for regular stickers. But for this paper, it works, but for other paper, it'll just like shred it because it's too sticky. Oop, it sprays when I do that. I don't know how long this takes to dry, though. Like, I don't know if we can even use this today, but I figured why not get a start on it. But yeah, I think if it's real thick like this, it's stickier compared to a nice thin coat. So maybe this could work for other papers. Okay, it's been a couple hours about. Time for a new sticky mat. I laid this down just so the edges don't get gross, kind of like I did with these ones, except they look all nasty now because the tape shredded them, but using a different cut setting than I was before too. I was using a setting I had to cut twice to get deep enough, but I went and edited it a little bit in the settings. So just one cut, but still no fast mode, but one cut per sticker. That's sticky. Oh, yeah. Then I can switch between the two blue mats and stop using the green ones. So it's nearly four o'clock and I'm finally having my lunch. I have a whole bunch of mashed yam because that yam is freaking huge. <laughs> There's some broccoli that I roasted in the oven, although it's like, I don't know if it's gonna have the same vibe because it's all soggy now because it's been sitting in here. So, <laughs> But there's still like the garlic on it and stuff. I don't know something a little different, but I feel like it's gonna be mushy just like steamed broccoli because it's been sitting in here. And then there's some chicken breast right there. Nothing fancy, just has a bit of spices on it. And then the other meal I made for this week is the, what's it called? The sesame chicken that I've shown you previously. I mean, it could be worse. Once I spread it out though. Tater, tater. Well. So the newly stuck down mat has been working amazingly. I have this many sheets left. May or may not get to those tonight, I'm not sure. I was kind of hoping to do a little bit of editing and maybe watch an episode of The Handmaid's Tale. I've got my little ghosty here. He's been hanging out with me during the stream. I call him Ghosty. His actual character name is Spooky McCute. It's a character by Kira Kira Doodles. I found out towards the start of the stream that she passed away. I don't know if I can talk about it right now without tearing up. Woo! Eh, too late. <laughs> this is her plushy too. Little baby potato. A while back I did a video about me trying out YouTubers coloring books. And I had a couple of hers that I was trying out in that video. And that's actually how I first came across her was me looking for coloring books. That's how I came across her super cute art. It's all so adorable. And a while after that video, she had sent me a thank you package. I remember opening it up on the vlogs. And that's how I got these little guys and some other goodies. So it's just crazy to think she's gone, I guess. I don't know. Don't know what they say about it. I'm not good at these things. But I'm just thinking of her is all. <laughs>
now Thursday. I probably should be doing store prep today, even though it's technically an art day. I just feel like I have a lot of store prep to do, but I'm in the mood to do art, so I'm gonna do art. <laughs> These are my initial little thumbnails here. I thought, oh, girl looking over her shoulder. No, let's just do fully back view so I can doodle some pretty hair and stuff too. Oh, that reminds me, I forgot to add some stuff to the hair in my other sketch that I'm about to show you. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know if I wanted the hair down. I thought because it's a cloak, maybe let's have the hair pulled up into a bun just so you can see it a little bit better. Then I quickly sketched this up in Photoshop and then I have some cleaner lines that I did on top, which look like that. Although I was gonna add some little things in her hair and I totally forgot <laughs> till just now. So maybe let's add those. Okay, couple roses here, little leafy thing here. There we go. Okay, the cleaned up sketch is printed out. I'm all good to get started. Look at this. Oh, I love doing fun setups. It just makes the artwork that much more fun to work on. I mean, really, I just put that on a tablecloth and the lace, but it just makes me so happy. It just feels so fun. It just feels extra cozy when I put in the extra effort. <laughs> Okay, there we have it. The girl in the cloak, I don't know what to call this. Artwork? <laughs> girl in cloak? No. There's no name as of yet, but I just love the way everything looks right here. This is just so pretty with the lace and everything. I can't stop looking at it. <gasps> so yeah, there's the artwork. I need to scan it and clean it up, but I'm not gonna do that right now. That's a job for another day. I still haven't even cleaned up that flower art that I did. I'm not done the cleanup on that either. <laughs> this could make a cute sticker too, in addition to a print. I like it. I like it. Here's some up close action. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. And now it is time for me to edit this vlog that you're watching right now because i'm posting on fridays now i was gonna do like half the editing the other night and then i didn't so i have the whole thing to edit right now so better get started on that because it's currently 6 30 so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one next friday <laughs>